If you're a content creator, facts are sometime in your career, you're going to need a lavalier or lapel mic to clip onto your shirt or blouse. In order to capture high quality audio for any content that isn't talking head commentary at a computer with a stationary microphone set up like this. The problem with the majority of lav mics sold is the audio quality is unacceptable to my standards, which aren't super high, by the way. My standards are relatively low when it comes to microphones, ladies, take it easy. If they are wireless, the range is usually hot garbage where you're in and out of connectivity and the battery life just don't get me started on that. It's not good. You'll be juggling do I need batteries in my controller because I'm an Xbox player or do I want to make high quality videos today? It's a toughie. This microphone system, and it is a system, it has four transmitters or microphones and a wireless receiver that split the audio into separate tracks. So if you're conducting something like an interview, you can have four people mic'd up. You can adjust all of your subjects volume levels and even add effects post editing. And best of all, this microphone doesn't fall into any of the pitfalls that I mentioned previously. In full transparency, this product was sent for an honest review. However, I have not been coaxed or told to say anything about this product. And if there are any cons, shortcomings, or areas of improvement, you are going to hear about it. Now, Comica does make a ton of other audio equipment, such as shotgun mics. However, this particular setup retails for $360. But if you need less transmitters, maybe one or two microphones and a receiver, not this four-piece kit here, you can get well below the $200 mark. Now, some of the features that really stand out about this system, and don't get it mistaken, it is a microphone system, is that this receiver can be paired to four transmitters at once on 24 different channels that can be either auto scanned or selected manually so you can make sure you avoid things like radio interference on particular channels that are already being taken. Other than that, you also do have four separate tracks. So in post editing, you can adjust people's audio levels. If maybe you're doing an interview and somebody was a little bit quiet, you do also have a suite of audio effects, including a low pass filter and 16 amplification or volume modes as well. You do have this nice carrying case here, a little bit of orange branding with the Comica stamped or emblazoned on top little badge right there. You do have some all metal pull tabs on the zipper. Now in this outside container, you are going to have some accessories. Another thing I genuinely do like about the setup is that you can either clip this onto your shirt as a lapel microphone, or it does also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone input. If you'd like to clip that onto your shirt, so you have two different connection methods. Then in the actual primary section, you can see there's a lot of padding in here. You have your instruction manual. You do have your receiver and your four transmitters or microphones, which are in laser cut foam. And they do have little cutouts on the side, which make getting your products out really easy. All right, you do also have a gel silica packet in here. Make sure you properly dispose of that and your children or pets don't get a hold of it because, well, these aren't great for them. Now, these are very lightweight. However, they are a little bit bulky, so this might be a little bit too much to have clipped onto your shirt like that. However, again, you do have that 3.5 millimeter microphone input right there, so you can clip this onto your belt or waist and then just have a small cord or wire coming up, maybe inside your shirt for that nice sleek look and then have it pinned right here at your collar. Dealer's choice. These also do have USB-C for charging. You do have 100 180 degree foldable antenna, which can get you up to 120 meters of range, which is pretty dang far. Also with the system, you're looking at six and a half hours of battery life. However, they can be used while they're plugged into USB charging, which is great because if you're creating content that lasts longer than six and a half hours or more realistically, maybe you forgot to charge these up before throwing them in your bag, you can still use the receiver and transmitters while they are charging, which is awesome. Also, this clip has a rubberized pad. Hopefully you can see that, which is going to be very comfortable if you are clipping this onto your shirt or belt. It's not going to be sliding around or moving on you. So as far as the included accessories and documentation, you do have a small warrant warranty card here, which I would recommend since these are expensive products that you do register your warranty on their website. Then you have your instruction manual, which as you know, I'm a bit of a connoisseur snob when it comes to instruction manuals or pamphlets, brochures, if you will. And I actually do like this one. There is no color. However, there are pictures which show you the different methods of miking up with this thing, all the different devices you can connect to, such as camcorders and how to use that color LCD screen on the receiver. You do have a USB-A to three USB-C connectors. So you can charge three of the devices simultaneously with this one cord. You do have four lapel or lavalier microphones, which use a 3.5 millimeter jack and also has this little support brace, which goes inside of a little port or plug like that. So it keeps it from wiggling around, which I really do like. And these also do have a Comica branded Velcro tie back and a pre-installed foam pot filter. However, you are also going to get these furry ones as well, which usually perform a lot better than these foam ones. However, you can double up on them if you want to do that as well and make sure you get the most wind resistance if you are recording outside. But overall, these feel very high quality and 
I do like the fact that they include four of them, one for each transmitter. You also do have a hot shoe. Actually, maybe this is a cold shoe. I don't know about the temperature of the shoe, but you have a shoe mount for something like a DSLR camera. Then you have a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter audio jumper is labeled for camcorder. So if you're gonna be using this with something like a camcorder, you can do that. And then this was very interesting. This is an XLR to 3.5 millimeter adapter. So a quick but very important note after reading the instruction manual, that XLR cable is to go into the XLR inputs on some of the older camcorders. You cannot use it as an input with an XLR microphone. Granted, it would have to be a dynamic anyway because condenser microphones require phantom power of 48 volts, which you wouldn't be able to get that off of the little battery powered transmitter. But that XLR cable is to plug into a camcorder to record the audio, not to use an XLR microphone. Let's run a couple of tests hooked up to my iPhone. 13 Pro, and we would also do it on the Sony A5100 over my shoulder, but that doesn't have a microphone input. Pretty weak, I know. This is an audio test walking around my semi-acoustically treated room out of the internal microphone of an iPhone 13 Pro from around eight feet away. This is an audio test in the same situation, but with the Comica microphone clipped to my neck hole, no low pass filter. This is with the Comica mic clipped lower on my shirt and the low pass filter on. This is with the Comica microphone lower on my shirt with the low pass filter off, standard decibel gain. This is a test with the Comica microphone clipped to my shirt, low pass filter off, and the decibel bumped down to eight, lower than the default of 12. And this is now with the low cut high pass filter on. This is a test of the Comica mic with the decibel gain set to four, lowered from the default of 12 with the low cut or high pass filter off. This is with the low cut high pass filter on. This is an audio test with an external lavalier mic plugged in, ran through the inside of my shirt with a decibel gain of 10 and the low cut filter off. This is the same exact test with the low cut high pass filter on. This is the same exact test but with the furry pop filter slid over the foam pop filter. Now this, in my opinion, is the ideal settings for this wireless Comica setup. I do have the included external microphone plugged in. You can run this through your shirt for a cleaner look. I have the microphone facing my mouth about four to five inches away. The gain on this microphone is set to plus six with the high pass low cut filter turned off. However, if you have a very deep, loud, booming voice, you may want to turn that on. Or if you're a moto vlogger and you're picking up the sounds of your motorcycle or car engine, but I gotta say the weight of this motorcycle makes it not hard to handle here. And your listeners are complaining of a lot of reverberation, vibration, or humming noises, a lot of drone if you will. You can go ahead and activate that low pass filter. I keep saying low pass, it's a high pass, i.e. it's cutting out the low frequencies. So with the microphone you have a couple of LED lights on there. As I'm talking you see it is illuminated blue, but if I stop... It turns off. Also by holding down or releasing the mute button, you will get a red LED indicator letting you know that you are muted. It will also give you an indicator on the receiver as well. And to turn on the low cut filter, you are going to press this button and you will get a purple LED light illuminated. And if you are gonna be using these transmitters or microphones very far away from the receiver, I would say 30 to 40 feet or more, then you're going to want to go ahead and flip up this antenna and also the two antennas on the receiver. The LED screen is incredibly useful. As I'm speaking, you can see my audio levels indicated here. With the decibel gain, which I currently have set at plus six, I have not charged the batteries on the receiver or transmitters, and this is the battery life that came out of the box. And as you can see, it also indicates which microphones are currently connected. And you will also be getting separate audio levels for each of your four transmitters if you do get this four piece kit. Now using the set button will take you into the settings. Pressing set again is to select and pressing the power button will go back. And for the four microphones, you can set what channel they're on. You can also auto scan for available channels. And if you are having issues with syncing, you can remedy that here. As for the volume, I have extensively messed around with this menu here. The microphone I'm currently on is B. And as you can see, or more so here, in real time, I am adjusting my audio levels. I probably will balance that out post-editing so it won't get too loud or too quiet for you, but it definitely is making a substantial difference. Now, ideally, if you're in a windless setting, for example, in this room, I would recommend having the gain on either five or six, seven at the most. If you are gonna be outdoors, I recommend the same. However, to mitigate the wind noise, I would use that furry pop filter slid over the internal foam one. And over here in mix, if you select this, you are able to mix all four of the audio tracks on board to where it is one audio track in post editing. I would recommend keeping this unchecked so you do have four separate audio levels in post editing that you can adjust volume. Now, other than using the power cable on the microphones, you can also power them on and off here. And you can also change your language and check your software version. I really do like this silver brushed aluminum look as well. The body is all plastic. I wouldn't drop this thing, but it just has a really nice sleek looking design. Now, despite the fact that this product was sent for review, as I always do, I tried to look at this 
very subjectively and look for any cons, shortcomings, areas of improvement for their next version or iteration, and I was only able to find one after using this thoroughly over the last three days. And that is the fact that all of the third-party, not Comica branded microphones that I tried to plug into the top of the transmitter did not work whatsoever, which is unfortunate. I tried to use my Purple Panda, which is a very good $30 lavalier lapel mic. Most of the Moto vloggers use it because it rejects wind noise. I had a $5 Amazon unbranded generic one. That didn't work. I had another brand, I forget the name of, that didn't work. So the only ones that I was able to use were the Comica branded ones that were included. It does include one for each of the transmitters or microphones. So you do have four of those external mics and I'm sure you could pick them up relatively cheaply on their website, but it just seemed like it was kind of proprietary. It didn't play well with others or at all. But having said that, that actually isn't a huge deal whatsoever because the Comica included external microphones actually sounded pretty darn good. And if you don't mind the cosmetic look of having this big boxy transmitter or microphone clipped to your shirt, you get really good audio quality out of the actual microphone itself. Also, the battery life is pretty insane. I've been using these over the last three days and I haven't had to charge them. Granted, the fact that you can use them while charging is awesome. Build quality feels pretty good. It is plastic. I mean, there's no aluminum or rubber or anything. They're just all plastic, but they don't feel like cheap chintzy plastic. They feel like they're high quality. They don't feel like they're going to break on you. And best of all, that little LCD screen where you can have all four of your mic levels monitored and the fact that you can separate those into four separate audio tracks for post editing is just awesome. Overall, I think this is a fantastic microphone system, and I do use the word system because it allows four microphones to simultaneously be sent wirelessly to one transmitter that will monitor all the levels and split them into four audio tracks. After three years of looking for a good wireless lapel or lavalier mic, I am savagely impressed by this microphone and I will be continuing to use it here on this channel. If you are interested in this product, it is linked in the description below, and like I did mention earlier, they do have cheaper versions. If you do not need four microphones, they do have kits or packages on Amazon that are substantially cheaper than the $360 model tested here. That's going to do it for me, but I want to hear on your back end, not your back end. I want to hear on the viewer side, your experience with lapel or lavalier microphones. Which ones have you liked? I know the Purple Panda has a solid reputation. However, that is not wireless. That is just a plug-in wired mic, and it's only one microphone. It's not a system. And give me your overall thoughts of this product. Peace. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach in a system as well, which in turn helps me grow this little channel, which I do greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, as well as honest gaming product reviews, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, mics, chairs, etc. There are some hefty exclusive discount codes found only in the description of my videos and only for the audience here at Gamer Heaven. Check out Into the AM for some of the sickest looking and most comfortable cloth to ever grace my gaming giblets. If you don't want to be scorching your corneas with harmful blue light, check out Gamer Advantage, the only blue light glasses on the market that look sexy and actually work. If you're looking for a custom Custom controller that'll blow the competition's tits back. AIM definitively has the best bang for buck or price to performance when it comes to Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch controllers. Nope, they don't do Switch, but they do do gaming mice. I said doo doo. I have links to all my other platforms and socials in the description below. If you need a quick laugh or blast of gamer adrenaline, check my short form videos out at TikTok. To get in touch with myself and the stallions and stallionettes of Gamer Heaven, join the community Discord and check me out at twitch.tv where I go live every other leap year on a blue moon if it falls into an odd calendar number and my pH balance is on point. Just kidding. Starting June, I'm going to be live streaming a lot. Thanks for watching. This has been AK40 Kevin hosting Gamer Heaven, and I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily all the time, 60% of the time, sometimes, most of the time. Peace.